All right, here is the very first cleaning of the Surf 4, which is the Upflow Algae Scrubber floating surface version scrubber. Uh, that's twice the size of the Surf 2, and uh, the Surf 4 is designed for up to four cubes of frozen food feeding per day. Again, doesn't matter how big the aquarium is, and it doesn't matter if it's uh, fresh or salt water. In particular, this is our saltwater reef pond uh, that's more just for testing the scrubbers. So now we have the Surf 4 here in the front uh, that you can see here, and there's um, there are three Surf 2s in the back that you can't see. So we removed one of the Surf 2s and replaced it with this Surf 4 here. And we've been feeding uh, oh, medium amounts, uh, not a whole lot, uh, although we've been uh, putting a lot of um, the food from the scrubbers back in the tank. So probably been feeding, I don't know, a couple cubes a day. And uh, this has been sitting here for day 17. So this is 17 days. Um, and um, the nitrate right now is zero on the salifert test. And the phosphate is probably about 0.1, I think, maybe, maybe 0.08, something like that. And there's been zero maintenance, no water changes, no other filters, uh, no nothing at all. Uh, not even glass cleaning, of course, because it's a pond and you don't, uh, you don't need to clean any glass, which is part of the fun of this one. So anyway, this will be the very, very first harvest of the Surf 4. And uh, it first filled in with uh, slime and then yellow stuff, just like a lot of them do normally. The first five days was on low power, which is just half the lights. And then uh, we plugged in um, the second half, and then uh, from day six onwards to day 17, which is today, it had the full um, the full eight LEDs running. Alrighty, so this is a day 17, first cleaning. Uh, as you can hear, or you should not be able to hear, it's silent. You might hear some other pumps from some other things going on, but right now the Surf 4 is silent. Now you should be able to hear the bubbles. It's currently being run by two pumps, the Fusion 700 pumps, which we sell. I'll put the lid back on so you can hear the difference in sound. Also notice how the floating level goes up and down when the lid is taken off and put, put back on because the lid weighs one and a half pounds and it's designed to float at a particular level. So uh, the level here is only where it's at when there's no lid on it because when the lid is on it goes down like this. Here is where it normally runs. So the box is full of algae. And then when you lift up the lid, it floats up. Okay, so lid on, it goes down. And then take the lid off. It floats up. All right, so this is going to be the same algae as in the still pictures, which is day one to day 17. A lot of it's really stuck on to the strings. Currently not on to the green grabber textures that much yet. That's going to take a few more weeks to get really solid on those.
about as much it's going to come off easily. It's also about the same as a Surf 2 after the Surf 2 has been running for months and months. Forty-one grams. Again, there's three more surf twos in the back side that you can't see right now. So we're going to put this back on and get it going on its weekly. Well, there we go. It's weekly growing patterns, and we'll have more videos then, hopefully without knocking the scale over.